Hello and welcome to this How Tech video tutorial. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to create a calendar. Now, the easiest way to do that, instead of writing out Visual Basic code or doing it all manually yourself, we'll just go ahead and search for calendar in our templates. And after that, it's just a matter of finding a calendar that looks good, whatever suits your fancy. There are calendars with pictures in them plain calendars, specific calendars, all sorts of things, but this looks pretty decent, small business calendar, and I think we'll go with that. So then we'll just go ahead and delete some of this text here, we don't want that on our calendar. We can then go up to 2015, and you can see that even these little numbers change according to the year, and that is really nice. Very hard to do in Visual Basic, and a very big pain if you're trying to do it all manually. So we could print it out just like this, but I'm going to go ahead and highlight some important dates, just arbitrarily, and say the 22nd is also an important date. And So I'll go ahead and create a legend down here, just for fun of course, and we'll go ahead and select our legend and I'll just give it a quick outside borders give this one a bottom border bold it and then I'll increase the font size of it all so then we can put down our fill color and we'll just name this as optional meeting so all the ones in blue-gray are optional meetings. Let's see what color do we want to use next. And this will be a mandatory meeting. So you can see that our text is green here because it goes green, black, green, black. So we'll just go ahead and change that Oops. to black automatic. And then we'll go ahead and select those mandatory meeting dates. And so, there you have it. We can then print out our calendar after I go ahead and change the font color here to make it match. So this has been a How Tech Video tutorial. Please like, subscribe, comment, and thank you for watching.